Hey guys, welcome to the high ground. My name is Fabio and today we're doing a little bit a different video. I'll give you a gear review of the Helicontax Outdoor Tactical Pad. Now as a brief introduction, I received this pant yesterday in the post and um, I really wanted to try it out. And today we're actually going to a high, rail, high rope course. So that's not something I would generally do. I'm more the actual climbing and actual mountaineering guy. But um, I got invited because there was one spot open for free. And then I said, yeah, of course, then I can test the new pants and I will take you along. So I will first go to the park and take you with me for a brief minutes of your time and then I will give you a really in-depth review of the pants, what I noticed, how they fit and if I would recommend you to buy them or not. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, a little time warp. We are here, we got our introduction. Um, it's me, Mark, who's a friend of mine, and two other guys who, uh, which he is training. And yeah, it, it's pretty funny because it's so basic mountaineering stuff, right? But people need a heavy introduction and you have to watch a, a small video about it and stuff, so. But yeah, now we can get started. Um, on a first impression, the pants are okay i mean they are they're thin i am not sure if, they, if i like the um setup of the of the packs or of the bags but um i'll show you that stuff a little bit later now let's just go and have a little bit of fun Okay, um, I'm back at home and I want to make one thing clear. I of course don't consider a high rope course as actual a testing ground or a proving ground for anything that has to do with really properly being in the outdoors. But it was fun and I got invited and I thought well why not just wear the pant and give you then afterwards a small review on it. Okay, so as you can see, I took the pant off. I wear other pants now. What I like about this pant is that the fabric is really thin. So if you would ask me on the season when I would wear this Helicontax outdoor tactical pant, then it is late spring, summer, early fall, early autumn. So if you compare it, for example, with the Arcteryx leaf series, the leaf series has much thicker soft shell, which I wouldn't necessarily want to wear in hot and moist climate. So I think this is a very good hot weather pants, just from the fabric, but also from the setup of the pockets. They all have mesh inlays, so that makes them much more breathable and uh, that's a good thing. I of course have a hard time judging really the durability of the fabric but from my experience I have pants with a similar fabric and that holds up very very well. So I'm not the least concerned about the durability in this regard. Now it has a little bit of stretch to it so it's 
generally pleasant to wear. Now, my personal impression of this pant is that it was, well, designed maybe with the city slicker, the, the outdoor guy that really comes from the city and just likes wearing those pants in mind and not so much with actual outdoor professionals or on-duty personnel. Um, there are a few things that lead me to this conclusion. Foremost, it is the cut. So, I'm, if I'm wearing this pant, it fits around my waist. So, the fit up here is, is perfect. But the cut of the legs around your thighs, which, I mean, you know, weak legs equal a weak mind, so you should have strong legs. And if you have strong legs, then this pant is quite tight around your thighs. Um, compared to, again, the Arcteryx, which is just my other tactical outdoor pant, um, the, the cut seems to be for people with thinner legs and a wider, uh, wider waistline. So um, that's not something you generally see with people who are in the outdoors a lot. But I also have to say, it's not super annoying. It's just a little bit tight around, around the ties. So, um, otherwise the cut fits well. Um, here um, at the back, it has a little bit or a lot of stretch to it. Um, that's quite nice. Um, it has no protection coating inside, so if you wear something heavy on top of it, you might get uh, a little bit abrasions, but uh, yeah, it's just a not so expensive pant. We don't have anything to, to tighten our, um, our legs here. There are holes in it, so you might be able to put in a paracord or something like this, but it's not included when you take it out of the out of the box. The knee part is enforced. So it's it's not super thick, but it's thicker. I would say it's a double layer of fabric. Um, yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense for a for a semi-tactical pant, right? Going back to the waistline, we don't have buttons here, but a velcro. And I actually know this concept from the Helicon Tax Grayman jeans. And there I like it quite a bit because if you have a, a weapons belt or a stiffer belt with a cobra buckle and um, then it's quite nice to have, the, to have this under it. Um, I'm not sure that it is necessary, it makes additional noise, but on the other hand, if you would be in a non-permissive situation, then you would likely not open your pants. I mean, maybe you would, but uh, yeah, that would be quite funny. Down from here, we have an ordinary one-way zipper from up to down here in the front. I think that's okay. Um, the belt loops are big enough to also take bigger belts. Um, I'm, to be honest, I'm not 100% positive how big they are. I will give you the, the number down here in the video. Um, we have smaller loops to fix our gloves and stuff too. So I quite like that. We have two loops of them. Um, that's quite cool. The pockets. So we have front pockets here. And as said, they are made from mesh. But what I really like is that this side is reinforced. So if you look at the pants, the lower side is reinforced. And the idea behind it is if you have a knife with, with a clip to it, then the clip generally rubs on, on this area of the pants a lot. And so it's a little bit more protected. So I really like that. Okay. Otherwise, the front pants, they're okay. They are medium deep. So it's not as flat as a jeans pant, but you also sometimes see those big range pants that you feel they have 
front pockets that are going down to the knees so that people can use them as drop pouches in their IDPA matches. Um, this is not a pant like that. Um, I'm quite happy with the front, front pockets, at least with the upper ones. Going to the back, we have big back pockets and to be honest, I feel that they act almost as drop pouches. So you can see I have a standard AR Mac with 30 round capacity here. You can drop that in there quite comfortably. It, yeah, you, you also won't lose it if you have it in there. It's, it's way deep enough. So um, that's nice. Um, if you're wearing a climbing harness or something like that, I think this, this pocket is out of service because it will just be blocked by the back strings of your harness, but I mean, you have it. And then there is a smaller pocket and it's the same configuration on both sides where you can put in a pistol mag. Um, I'm not sure who wears a pistol mag back here. May maybe people do that. I would expect that generally more on the front side because if I wear my battle belt, then it, here is also where I have my pistol mag and here I have my AR mag, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's not a bad idea and it will of course make it more comfortable to, to really lay on, on your, um, in the prone position and have not the um, mags all around here. So, so far everything is good. Where I have a little bit of an issue are the leg pockets. Um, the ones here on the side. And how they are set up, let me briefly put it so that you can actually see it better. Like this. And how they are set up, so this is the front. You have a pocket, a small pocket with Velcro on top in the front and then you have a separate zipper pocket in the back. Now I'm generally not a big fan of velcro pockets because a the velcro gets dirty pretty fast uh, pretty quickly especially if it is around the leg area and you're walking through bushes and what I also don't get this pocket almost looks like a mag pocket and there it would have been something where I say yeah you have a really fitting Mac pocket here, um, that's, why not, that's a cool thing, right? Then you don't have to uh, wear Macs around your, your belt line when you carry a backpack or something like that, but you can really have one or two spare Macs down here. But again, if I take my 30 round AR Mac, the pocket is super small. It's, it's just not big enough for an AR Mac. I mean, it's like this, you can't close the Velcro, that means you're likely going to lose the, uh, to lose the Mac. And I understand that the Mac has to um, stand out a little bit so that you can grab it, right? But um, yeah, the, the pocket is just not deep enough. And they would actually had, uh, have had enough space here. Um, they just saw the pocket off. So I'm not sure because you can't close the flap anymore. That's why I, I mean, that's, that for me, it looks more like application for, for the gun range, right? I mean, yeah, there is an outdoor gun range, but I'm not sure if that is the idea behind an outdoor tactical pant. When we, when we talk about outdoor tactical pant, I'm thinking about being in the mountains and stuff. So, um, yeah, I, I'm not super happy with, with this pocket. Um, for now, since they are new, the Velcro closes quite well. I put my mobile phone in here, in here, but I mean, who wants to have his mobile phone directly in front here, where it gets hit with everything? I mean, that's, that's not a good idea. So, not too happy with these pockets. The back pockets are cool. Um, they, they allow for quite some space to pack stuff in there. Um, they have a zipper. Um, I, I don't have any issue with them, so the back side is cool. I just really don't get the front side. Okay, so there are, there are not any more pockets here, especially no pockets down here. 
um, what I think is a good thing. I generally don't like that too much if I'm walking a lot. Um, so yeah, you have to check out what um, this pants will be at the place where you live. In Switzerland, it's around 90 Swiss francs. Um, that equals roughly 100 US dollars. And for that, it's a good pant. I would use it as an all-round hiking pant, maybe even for, for summer hunting when you're not doing a lot of bushwhacking because it might be too, too thin for that. But it, it's a solid pant. I will definitely keep it. If it would be a 400 bucks cry pant, then I would expect a little bit more thoughts, but um, you get a lot for what you pay. So yeah, I like it. And that was already my brief review on the Helicontax Outdoor Tactical Pants. If you want to see more videos about gear, especially about stuff that I know from being in the mountains, then please let me know in the comments below. It's always very helpful to have an indication what you guys are interested in. If you like this video, please um, give me a thumbs up. I will give you a link to this pant on Amazon in the description below. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. If you haven't done so, follow the channel and I'll see you next time.